Aloha and welcome back to another mini podcast with myself, Alexis of Ascension Diaries. The moon is in Virgo. It is Monday or moon day, I affectionately call it. I don't do content specifically on the new or the full moon. I prefer to just tap into the moon's energy every Monday because it is named after the moon itself. So curiously enough, I'm following that sort of pattern and how that has been ingrained into our society. And with this episode, we had a surprise guest. My partner, my companion walked out and told a dream after I was done recording that was really a more vivid vision about what I was discussing in this episode. So I'm going to leave that in. So that's at the very end of this episode, the dream that that Jace brought in, check out his website, consciouscrypto.info to sign up for his services if you're interested. And we're going to get into so much fun about perfectionism and our group cosmic party ship that is literally signing people up. And that's what my Patreon has become is just this version, this, this density's version of this sign up of this ship that is anchoring into this reality and the fact that he dreamt about it just confirmed it all over the place so enjoy virgo moons i love you and have a great day this episode is brought to you by patreon.com slash ascension diaries Thank you, all 62 of you who have continued on into this August with my Patreon private blog where I post every single thing that I think was the most important of the day for the guardians know and need for their own stewardship in their lands out here as the the protectors of this planet and of raising the vibration gently. As I say this, I see a squirrel running in my background here. So happy, busy, stored energy bombs and all energy seeds, light seeds, and all the good places for the magic to continue bursting forth and life to continue growing. And that's just how I roll. But if you want that centralized and you want to help me, I had 71 people. I was going to announce 71 and (laughs) I looked at my app and a whole bunch of people had deleted their pledge or something has happened. So now we're back down to 62. So guess what? There's space for you to help me out. And the overall goal here is to reach 500 joiners. 500 guardians is the number that I'm going to be working with for now. I'm seeing the number 1,200 in my third eye right now. It's basically our our ship is the best way that I'm going to put that, our ship. So if you've ever been on a party cruise ship and you know how many rooms and how many people they can fit on one of those things, imagine... Imagine what the technology is capable of. So anyways, there's so much to be happening. I'm going to be doing this blog for many years. You can join me for a long time. We can continue growing together. And you are welcome to sign up or get a consultation call with me on ascensiondiaries.com for personal coaching. I'm taking on some personal personal training for people who are ready, who want to have the time to dedicate some personal training where we do a weekly meeting and really dig in for three months at the rate that we're comfortable with. And it's just going to be so much fun. I'm glad to be grounded enough to be able to take on another adult and really really hand them all of my work and be like here you go like here's this care package beautifully packaged every week for you and holding space for your process too as my skill as the therapist trained entity whatever I am over here Alexis means helper so please allow me to just fulfill my code here in this hologram and thank you so much for the support all right If there is anyone 
in this outdoor shared space or this conscious shared space where I currently am that would like to speak a little supportive, benevolent energy. You have our ears for a few moments. Please go ahead. All right. <laughs> Sometimes just a moment of peace with the water is what you need. So I would recommend if you have not yet to do so, please go enjoy the sounds of natural water in our planetoid here. Whatever this thing is that we're riding together and seemingly being able to connect via these technology that they've handed us. What a lovely and joyous time we're having. So the goals that are coming through for this feminine energy fed by the sun. I'm being, the sun is shining on me right now into my eyes. So we're getting both sides. I'm getting the technical codes and the emotional codes, the magnetic and the electric about this ship, like I mentioned, and how I'm gathering people to have true connection via patreon.com slash ascensiondiaries.com. It's literally out of all of the mediums I've tried, one of the very best. And it has a good app too that helps me use it. <clears throat> My Wix website also has an has an app that I can send emails out with to all of my email subscribers, which is super nice. So for those of you building your businesses, that's the energy I'd like to send you. Again, for the personal coaching, I can take you on and we can work on all of these things. Whatever you're trying to do, anything especially of my own that you'd like to do, and you're like, I want her to teach me that. Let's do it. Just make a list. I've got, like I said, my name means helper. So I'm literally just here at your wish, at your call, at your service. Just ask the question. And if I don't know what to do to help you, guess what? Since my business is helping people, I know a lot of helpers because that's who I attract. My heart attracts other beautiful, helpful people as well as yours probably do. So if you don't know and I don't know, I'd be surprised. But I've got lots of people to ask. I've got many connections and this community has been growing. We are living in an upper dimensional plane and being able to communicate to each other this way. And this ship is sort of the theme that is emerging. If you had been watching or on the Patreon watching, you saw my last article there was an object that left the sun and it's not the first time that I've seen this happen, but it's the first time that I'm going to actually sort of put my finger on it and hold it down for a few more minutes and give it a little bit more of my attention and energy, kind of like a, like a string on an instrument. I'm changing the note to kind of intensify it and putting some pressure. I would like to intensify that note. So if you haven't seen that footage yet, go on to pretty much any of my social medias, but the best way is to get on the Patreon and you can check there. And if it's a locked article, just donate any amount as generous as you'd like to be because we are free, free beings. And you can read my little blurbs about these things. The Virgo energy wishes to be perfect and pure. But we make mistakes <laughs> and it's okay. <laughs> Sometimes we can't get where we want the way that we want it. But the changes that need to happen, we're just supposed to work around them, which we can do in a perfection the best we can. So it's good that we have a piece of us always striving for perfection. And then sometimes it gets more intense. But to be emotional, emotional, 
about perfection. Let's just get positively emotional about perfection instead of negatively, because you can choose both sides, both polarities, I feel like. Whenever you like, both sides, both polarities exist in the, in the soup. So the perfection of the leaves on the plants, the perfection of the clouds in the skies, the sounds the birds make, the timing of how your family moves, even though it may not be perfect for you, it must be perfect because there's no other way. It simply is. So excuse yourself today if you must when you're dealing with perfectionism and remember the perfect, true perfect things in life. Look at all of your body, every cell, every breath you're taking, your heart is beating without your thought. It's perfection. For most of us anyways. And that's perfect too. So, much love and support. Thank you so much again for joining the Patreon. It's been a lot of fun watching the growth and watching participation grow. The community is getting closer, tighter knit, which is good because eventually we're all going to be on a party ship. <laughs> and I'm just going to gently be walking down that timeline because it's the same timeline I've been shown for many years that the party ship is showing up, the party cruise. And... However it's going to happen, I trust it because it's clearly a major plan. And I'm allowed to talk about it now. And I was back then, but people didn't watch my channel as much as they do now. I'm a little older now. Things are getting more serious now, which they told me it would. So they told me to record and diary the process, especially because they got me before my Saturn return. When Saturn was going to hand me my job. <clears throat> my polarity to balance and the polarity I want to balance is the ignorance about space weather about emotions about the, our neurological shifts about the importance of nature in general the beauty of it all so thank you for walking with me guardians as I share and rem remind you of those codes as we lifting out of this amnesia we place on ourselves during this time, we're all unlocking at perfect time, in lockstep almost, like gears. I'm watching it. I feel like I'm seeing it. It's like watching the leaves grow on the branches. Have a excellente week. <laughs> and I shall do another one of these for the next moon day so look forward to that if you like these which some of you i know do so thanks for the feedback guys i appreciate you until next time so i have to add an interjection into the ending of this podcast because my companion came running out to tell me about his dream about feeling like in futuristic Japan with a futuristic ship that he was just partying with a bunch of people. But that ship only had three restrooms on it, that super yacht that he was partying on. And I was like, no, no, we need a cruise ship because every one of those rooms has their own bathroom and shower and everybody needs to keep their stinky parts to themselves as much as possible as we're continuing to purge and also merge all these different species together <laughs> one funny part about that is hygiene major big deal so I think about that all the time which is again Virgo moon which I'm pretty sure I was also raised by a Virgo moon or two of them potentially and now my companion is also a Virgo moon so to have him bust out here and tell me a dream literally about what I was just channeling it does not surprise me in the least and it's just another account of the magic that continues weaving itself into my every, every second. And as a goodbye, a little fly has landed on my hand. As soon as I was mentioning these microsecond adjustments I get now with all these little visits is indeed an example again. So validating again, 
that if you have not joined my Patreon, it's time. Please and thank you. Much appreciated. We can work out something else if you cannot work with that medium. That's understandable. But if you'd like to continue listening and moving on with my work, I would much appreciate the energy back in any way. Thank you so much. And onward we go, strong. Our time is very valuable. Thank you. So in my dream, it was J Japan in the future, basically, is what it felt like. And there were, there were volcanoes and buildings, like, everywhere. But the buildings were very, like, intimately built into the, the landscape. And it was just gorgeous. And the buildings were more futuristic looking. They were, like, not normally what we would you know, think about when we think of like a city, it was more future, like maybe 50 years in the future or something. And we owned this giant like sky yacht is what it felt like. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't know if it flew or it definitely felt like it moved around, but we were like docked. We were like in one place, but right. it was like a, it felt like a boat, but it was like it's way up in the sky. It's safer to party at dock instead of in the ocean. Yeah. So it was pretty exciting. It was like you and me and my family and a bunch of people. And there was like a, there was like a girl who was like our age, who was like the pilot of it. And she was pretty cool. Maybe <laughs> I recognized. Um, and the only thing I remember other than that is there was, well, on the volcanoes, there was like, it was like they were like artificially creating smoke and, and, mist or steam on the volcanoes like every couple minutes there'd be like this like release of steam at the top and it would like okay. kind of like an incense you know how the incenses <laughs> roll down yeah. those Japanese and Chinese things it was like that but with the volcanoes they would release it and the smoke would like roll down the wow. the volcano sides but it was like clearly artificial is what it felt like um, <laughs> just for a vibe yeah, just for the vibe is what it felt like. That's a great idea. I wonder what it smelled like. Yeah, I Did don't remember smell. Did you smell anything? No, I don't remember smell. And then the only other thing was our yacht only had like three bathrooms. So it was a, <laughs> no! little, it was a little crowded and I remember like... That's terrible. I had the like master bathroom in the back, but everyone was like trying to use it when I was trying to use it. So I was like... No, I, had, I was talking about I a, to, like, kick them out. a cruise ship. They have, every room has a bathroom. That's what you would want. I don't know why. That's what this I'm felt getting. like it felt like a hybrid between like our van and like a space yacht. Like some part of my subconscious, it was also our van. Like our van. <laughs> it's I don't soul. know. Yeah, it was strange. The soul it of did, our van. That's what it felt like. Like the that's back. Because that's what it is. Felt like the master bedroom in the back, <laughs> but it was like a real big master bedroom, and it had like a walk-in bathroom and everything. Not like our van. But you would think for a space yacht, it would be way bigger. I don't know what that was about. But it was cool. That's great. Yeah. <laughs> I thought you'd like it. <laughs> Thank you.